Welcome back to the Wake Man channel. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I would do to improve my dream boat. A while back, I received a comment on a video where somebody asked me to make a video and talk about how I would build my dream boat. So I'm gonna start under the notion that uh, the current boat that I'm sitting in, the 2022 G23, has most of the things that I would want out of what I would consider my dream boat. But there are certainly things that I've thought of throughout time of owning wake boats that I think would help make a better boat and help make my dream boat. And some of the items that I'm going to discuss in this video already exist on other models or brands of wake boats. And some of the items don't exist at all, or they're just items that I wish they would start putting on boats. So the very first one I'm going to talk about is what I'm calling an intuitive ballast system. Um, and what I mean by that is I think it would be optimal for my dream boat to have a ballast system that knows where it should be to create the most ideal wakeboard wake or wake surf wave. Um, and what I mean by that is no matter how I have my boat loaded with people or stuff, I should be able to tell the boat that I want, you know, the, the biggest wave and maybe a seven out of 10 on steepness. Um, and it should be able to just fill up ballast and adjust for any other weight that's on the boat. So it, it should know, you know, how much it's leaning to one side and how much it should fill the other side to compensate for that. I know Supra has some of that technology with their pitch and roll and you can adjust it. You can adjust the, the weight to adjust your pitch and roll, but I wanna be able to push a button. I want the boat to know exactly where it should go to. So I think that that would be a very cool option to have on a boat um, where I just go to my preset uh, and you know, maybe I choose this wake surf steep, you know, and it has all these settings in here. But I also think it should already know based on what weights in the boat um, before I before it fills the ballast and and where the people are sitting, um, just you know how much it's tipping to one side, how much it's tipping backwards or leaning forwards, and then it should fill the ballast to compensate for that. You know, fill it up as much as it can, but also you know if it's a little heavy on this side, leave a little of the water out of this side, um, so that way it tips it back over and compensates for that. I think that that would be a very cool system to have on a wake boat. And obviously I think that having an intuitive ballast system would help create a dream boat for me. All right, so the next item I would add to make a boat my dream boat would be lounge seats in the back. Now you can see that my 2022 G23 does have some seats in the back um, so that you can be I guess either hanging out back here while people are swimming or whatever, have your drink with you, or uh, maybe even sitting here while people are surfing right here um, or wakeboarding right here. So basically an extra spot and really even three spots because there's another one there and then there's a sitting spot right here um, so that you can kind of hang out in the back of your boat. But the lounge seats that I'm referring to are those that are currently on the Paragon. And I also have seen Mastercraft has kind of a lounge seat now, um, but I really like the Paragon ones. So it'd be really cool to have the lounge seats that the Paragon has. So I, obviously I know that uh, in order to get that from my boat, all I would have to do is go up to a Paragon and spend more money. But I do think my dream boat would have those lounge seats. All right, so the next item that I would add to a boat to make my dream boat would be the electric engine. Obviously, I'm just showing you the engine bay on my 2022 G23, and this is just the PCM ZZ6, which is the engine that comes with 465 pounds of torque. Now, I don't know if technology has gotten far enough yet to have an electric motor on uh, the G series or the G G23 and above, um, because Nautique does have, I think it's called the engine, uh, motor on the GS22, um, and it's actually the GS22E, um, and uh, it's pretty cool. I think it has like between two and three hours of runtime, but last time I checked, it was like $300,000 for a GS22E, 
and that doesn't even include the charge station, um, which uh, I think it's $10,000 for the basic one and it's like $30,000 for the fast charge one. And I think the problem is, is that, you know, we're talking about the G23 that's quite a bit heavier than the GS22. And so uh, I don't know that the technology is quite there yet for a motor that would be able to push all this weight for an acceptable amount of time um, to basically to have fun. Uh, because even with the GS22E, you know, you're obviously not gonna be able to take your boat out and be out on the water all day. So, you know, there are some times where I'm using my boat for around eight hours in a day. Um, so uh, it is something I would really love to have. I just don't think we're there yet with technology. Um, I just think it would be so cool to be able to just, you know, bring your boat back to the dock or bring it home um, and plug it in and then you're ready to go for the next day when you wake up as opposed to having to fill it with fuel all the time. I just think it would be such a cool thing. Um, and I'm really into technology like that. Um, I have solar panels on my house. I do think it's cool to save the environment, although that's not usually my main intent. I do think it is a cool byproduct um, if possible. Obviously, I know that it's, uh, it's harsh for the environment to create the batteries as well. Um, but that is something I think would be really cool uh, because I do like the quieter engine noise behind the boat for surfing and obviously an electric motor driving the boat as opposed to a gas engine or a diesel engine um, is going to be that much quieter. Okay, so the next thing that I would add to a boat to make it my dream boat would be a more comprehensive cover for the boat. So I'm currently on my sixth wake boat. I've owned four Malibus um, and now two Nautiques. Um, and I really liked Malibu's cover. I talked about this in my Malibu versus Nautique comparison where I thought that Malibu's cover was doing a better job than Nautique. Now I made that comparison video when I had my 2019 Nautique. The cover on my 2022 G23 is better than uh, on my 2019 G23 uh, because it does have some underlying felt on it. Um, but it also does not cover the entire tower. And what I would want out of a cover, I want the cover to cover most everything. Um, and what I mean is I want the cover in the front to go down underneath, uh, probably this far underneath the boat. And there's a company out there that actually makes covers like that that would just go over top of your current cover um, and cover the bottom of your boat. Uh, and then I would also want it to come up over the top of the tower, cover all the insides of the boat because the tower gets bugs on it, the bimini gets bugs on it, things like that, um, which Malibu has done that on, uh, on a few of their models and so has Nautique, um, but just not this current telescoping tower. The, this cover does not go over that. And then I think that every touch point that the cover has on the boat, uh, the underneath of the cover should have felt. Um, so that way it's not doing damage to the boat. Um, every single touch point, whether it's on the tower, uh, whether it's on the corners of the gel coat, uh, even the rails, I think it should all have felt on it. So in order for a cover to do well enough to be a part of my dream boat, I want it to have all those features. Go underneath the boat in the front, go over top of everything inside the boat, including the tower and bimini, and then also be coated in felt underneath. Okay, so the next thing that I would put on my dream boat is I would put a power seat. And this 2022 Nati G23 does have a power seat and you can see the buttons right there. But that is just so it can go backwards and forwards. Um, now Malibu does have the power seat that I'm talking about where you push a button and the button was over here on my 2018 24MXZ, but you could push that button and it would raise the seat up and down. Um, and I think that that is pretty nice and fairly important for those people that are shorter. Now, with this boat, it's actually almost perfect for me. Um, I don't even need the bolster, um, and I can actually see over the bow when we're surfing. Um, but I am 6'2", uh, and it would be helpful for my wife if there was just that little bit of extra. Now, she does use the bolster, um, but uh, it, and she can see over, but it would be just that much nicer if there was a power seat to raise her up just a little bit. So, although there are some companies out there that have that, like Malibu, um, I would want that on a boat like this, or at least on my dream boat. All right, so the next thing that I would put on a boat to make it my dream boat is I would add more heated seats. So this boat actually comes with two heated seats, which was nicer than Malibu um, because theirs was only the driver's seat. But on this boat, this seat is heated and so is this uh, passenger kind of love seat uh, area. Um, and it has a button up in there. Uh, the button to control this one is just on the screen. Uh, 
I think it would be cool if all of the seating in the interior lounge was all heated because I would say probably three months out of my season and that's April, May and September um, is fairly cold weather wakeboarding or wake surfing. Um, and it's very nice to, um, you know, go take your set, get back in the boat and be warming up because you're sitting on a heated seat. Now this boat does have heaters, uh, the heater vents. Um, so we use those too, but I think that it would be nice to have heated seats all around. Okay, so the next thing I would put on my boat to make it my dream boat would be plug and play ballast. And what I mean there is that I would like there to be an extra ballast scenario um, where it's like Malibu's um, and in Malibu's it's in their back lockers typically um, that if I wanted to add extra ballast because in my scenario I'm usually out with my wife and my daughter and I'm always adding extra ballast. Um, I could just throw some bags in and hook it up to the current system and basically the tanks that are already there just overflow into those bags and that is monitored by the normal ballast system on the screen. Um, with Malibu their hard tanks came up the side on the inside of these lockers and, and uh, obviously the bag would fill to the height of those tanks and it would know whether or not it was 100% full. Um, now the 2022 G23 did have the option of the supplemental ballast and those ballast bags go basically under the floor of this area right here um, on each side. Uh, but that system is designed to add two more pumps um, and uh, basically the exact same setup as there is for um, the three stock that are in here. And I may add the supplemental ballast feature in the future um, and based on some information from one of my friends that's doing it with this Paragon, which I talked about in my last video, if I decide to add the, those ballasts, um, I may just do a deal where I hook it to the bags that are there already and, and they overflow into the bags here. Because the setup to make the supplemental ballast like the other stock ballasts uh, that are in here um, is pretty complicated. Um, and there's quite a bit of money involved, $2,000 to $2,800, um, lots of labor involved. Um, but it would be nice if, you know, for example, in this boat, they just had it plug and play. So I, if I wanted to, I could just buy some bags, throw them in, in those spaces, and then hook them into the current system. Um, and it just overflows into that bag. Um, maybe even if you already had the supplemental ballast bags in here, so that would mean you'd have five different bags that are sub floor, but then they also gave you plug and play so that you could add bags on top of that in the rear lockers. Basically in my dream boat, I would just want there to be plug and play to add more ballast if I want to. All right, so the next thing I would add to a boat to make it my dream boat is I would improve on the bimini. Um, now this is a very cool bimini and pretty much all the biminis that I've had have been pretty nice in one way or the other. This one's a pretty aggressive one, it's very unique. Um, I really like the look of it, but the way that I would improve it is I would make it to where, you know, with the telescoping tower, for example, that if I was to be out on the water and all of a sudden a thunderstorm came through, um, I would be able to drop the tower and the bimini would be built in such a way that it would basically come down and almost touch the windshield. And then I could maybe deploy some sort of drop down canvas right here, maybe on the sides. Um, so that it would basically enclose the passengers um, so that they could be sheltered out of the storm um, because that has happened to me several times um, and it's not very fun when it happens obviously. Um, I mean, usually it's fine and we get through it but usually it, it's not very fun for at least some of the people on the boat. So it'd be very nice if basically it, it enclosed the boat somehow when you needed it to. All right, so the last thing that I'm gonna talk about in this video that I would add to my boat to make it my dream boat is I would add air conditioning. Now, most wake boats these days have the option of heaters um, and they're pretty cool. Um, so this is one of three heater vents on this boat and this is the only one that's extendable like this. Um, but I think that it shouldn't be too hard to add an air conditioning option to a boat. Um, and it doesn't have to be, you know, your traditional air conditioning that you might have in your house. I think that they could come up with some sort of scenario where it's like a swamp cooler. Um, and for those of you who aren't familiar with swamp coolers, um, I had one growing up because I grew up in a trailer house. A swamp cooler, basically, you, you make sure it's full of water. It uses the temperature of the water to blow air off of it and basically cool your house. With a boat, you're basically sitting on water the whole time. I think there should be some sort of scenario they could come up with um, to put air conditioning on a boat and use these same ports 
to blow cooler air as opposed to hot air. Now we do a lot of cold weather riding and these heaters come in handy for the cold weather riding. Um, but obviously the majority of our season is spent in pretty warm temperatures or hot temperatures, which I'm sure is the same for most of the people watching this video right now. So I think it would be almost more useful to have air conditioning as opposed to heaters. But if you've already got heaters, why not add both? And if you need to go so far as what a typical car has, some sort of air condenser, why not? We've been putting it in cars for decades now. Uh, why can't we put it in a boat? And I think the main reason why that has not happened yet is because most people would think like, well, you're out on the lake, you're on the water. If you need to cool down, just jump in the water. But there are scenarios where maybe you have some people on the boat, um, an elderly person where they just don't feel like getting in the water. Maybe it's hard for them to get up and down uh, from the swim platform. Maybe you've got your driver like my wife who's just sitting here driving me for several hours and she's sitting there getting hot. Um, and maybe she just doesn't want to get in the water that day. That I, those things actually happen to me quite a bit. Um, so I think air conditioning would be a very cool option to add to a wake boat and would be ideal for my dream boat. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts on this video or ideas for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and click on that notifications bell so you'll be notified of my future videos. I'll see you next week.